you will not find yourself doing statements and reasons this unit, but again, it's heavy algebra. Okay, that's why I have asked for you to bring your calculator to class every day. Not only are you going to do a lot of calculations every day, but next week you're going to learn a couple new buttons on that calculator and what they stand for. All right, we're going to start using. You will see the title of this unit is right triangles and trigonometry. Uh, that's all we're going to work in is right triangles. There's a ton we can do with right triangles and only in right triangles. Like what's the what's one thing everyone know, already knows about with right triangles? What's the Pythagorean theorem can only can only be used in a right triangle, even though some of you tried to use it yesterday on the test. It can only be used on a right triangle. All right. There's other stuff, too, that you're going to see in this unit that can only be used on a right triangle. OK, ready to roll. First uh, first two days are the same topic. Today, I'm going to intro it and tomorrow a little bit more honors level. A mean proportional. All right, we set up how many proportions last unit? A ton, okay? This is a special type of proportion. So I'm just gonna let you guys read through here why it's a special type of proportion, the mean proportional, and see if you can set one up for me, okay? It's a proportion that does the following. So go ahead, read through that real quick. We'll see if we can uh, make our own up as a class. All right, you'll notice in a mean proportional, the means are the same. Anybody remember where I placed the means in a proportion? Going downhill or going uphill, left or right? Downhill. Downhill? These are the means? Those aren't my means. My means are right there. And they're always the same number in a mean proportional. This special type of proportion we're going to work with today and tomorrow, those values are always the same, which means, what are my other ones called? The extremes are always different. Okay, so that right there is an example of a mean proportional right there. Means are the same, extremes are different. And we can actually do problems with numbers in it. Take a look at the first one. Find the mean proportional between 4 and 16. So what I want to know is, what number needs to go here if my extremes are 4 and 16? Means are the same, so what can I label as my means here? I'm trying to find it. X, whatever variable you want. So my means are the same. And what are my extremes now? 4 and 16. So when I multiply 4 and 16, that's the same as multiplying what number by itself? That's what I'm looking for here. Okay. Means are the same, extremes are different. Go ahead, so I'm not gonna solve anything for you here this unit or this semester, that's for sure. You end up with x squared is equal to 64. And then you're taking the square root of both sides, and here's where we have a staring contest. Nope. Yeah, eight works, I agree. So does another one, though. Ne if I plug in negative eight, you do negative eight times negative eight, 64. Those sides are equal, so I gotta put plus or minus. All right, plus or minus eight. All right. If I only want the positive version, because we're going to deal with diagrams, and as you guys know, we got to reject the negatives if we have a diagram. If we have a diagram. If we have a diagram from yesterday's test. If we have a diagram, we reject the negative. Okay, if we have a diagram. We're going to have what we call the geometric mean. Same thing except I only want the positive version now, all right, the positive. So find the geometric mean between 15 and 20 now. So what number multiplied by itself, the means, is the same as multiplying 15 and 20, my extremes. But now I only want the positive value out, and yes, in simplest radical form.
So what do we have, 300? All right, here we go. We're getting better at this. We are getting better. You're getting more confident, many of you, in breaking down radicals by yourself. So what does 300 break down into? Here you go, 20, 300. What are the two numbers it breaks down into? What numbers? Bigger than 25. And here's how I know. What was It was radical 12, right? Here's how I know there's got to be something bigger. Is there still a perfect square that goes into your radical? Yes, that means there was something bigger originally. Okay? Keep going, Marlies. You got it. I got confidence in you. Bigger than 25. 300. 300. Ready? Ready? 300. Go ahead. 100 and there you go. So now, square root of 100, 10 radical 3. No plus or minus. I only want the positive version when I ask for the geometric mean. Uh, by the way, kids, uh, didn't want to break down radical 68 yesterday. Some of you on the test, you can break that bad boy down. Okay, I, I don't know. Some of you guys just left at radical 68 hanging by itself. You can break that down. Yes, sir. All right. We all good? You are going to set up a ton of these today. Bad news? You're going to have to match up sides to do it. Similar triangles is not going anywhere. Okay. So I want to introduce you to the diagram we're going to be using in the next two days. We are going to have a right triangle with an, what can I call AD here? Comes from a vertice perpendicular to the opposite side. An altitude. We are going to have a right triangle with an altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So what I'd like you to do, take a minute right now, in that white space below, can you copy my diagram down? And I have a lot of questions for you. One last time, what type of triangle is ABC? What type of triangle is ABC? A right triangle. What is AD called that I drew in? Altitude. Where is that altitude drawn? To the what of ABC? To the, what do I call BC? Stop just throwing out vocab, the hypotenuse. I need an altitude drawn to the hypotenuse. Those are the diagrams you see. All right, I'm going to challenge you right now. I'm going to call triangle CAD, triangle one. You don't have to do this. Triangle DAB, triangle two. And I'm going to call the big one ABC, triangle three. Here's what I want to know from you based on what you did last unit. Why is triangle one similar to triangle three? Why is triangle one similar to the big one? Where's 22? 22? What's up, boss? You all right without your boy back there today? You good? You going to survive? It's like you're losing like a part of your body there. You good? Or does it make you even better? Not having him here? Okay, good talk. All right, you ready, Dylan? I want to know why they're similar. What, what was the main way we had last unit proving triangle similar? Angle, angle. Everyone agree, angle, angle. So here you go, Dylan. Name a pair of angles that are congruent in triangle one and triangle three. CD, yeah, triangle one and triangle three. Name a pair of angles that are congruent in both. Yes, one and three. Name, name a pair of angles that are congruent. The right angles. Everyone see, both triangles have right angles. There's one A, where's the other A come from? 
There are no word up there that says bisector, so let's not introduce that. Angle C, the reflexive angle in both. So does everyone see by angle, angle, why these two are similar? All right, I got another one for you. Tell me why triangle two is similar to triangle three. Same thing. They both have what? Right angles. And now, what's the reflexive angle? B. So does everyone see why these two pairs are similar? Finally, I, don't, I can just look at these two. And now, what two triangles have to be similar? 1 and 2, because they're both similar to 3. So bottom line, what do I know about all three triangles? They're all similar. Now let's take that next step. If all three triangles are similar, what do I know about their corresponding sides? They're in the same ratio, and this is where we go whoo, downhill, trying to match up those sides, right? Everyone agrees? If I said to you right now, I'm going to take triangle three and one, what side matches up with CA in triangle one? There, I, we'd be here for a long time with most of you, okay? If three and one are similar, and I said in a triangle three, CA matches up with what in triangle one, you're going, ah, 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 we'd be here a while. All right, most of us could do it. Some of us can, but you're going to struggle. I got good news, though. I got two devices that are going to help you match it up. Okay? I have two devices now that are going to help you match up these corresponding sides. Are we ready here? The first device is called Hills, H-L-L-S, Hills. H over L equals L over S. That will match up corresponding sides. What does each piece mean? Ready to focus in. The H in Hills represents hypotenuse. Now, there's three right triangles in that diagram, which means there's three hypotenuse in there. Which one do I want? The original, big one. Name it in my diagram. Name it. I want you to label it now, please. CB is your hypotenuse in hills that I'm going to use. So whatever that value is, I plug it in for H. Let's keep going in hills. What's the L stand for? Leg. I got a bunch of legs here. It's got to be a leg from the... Big triangle, the original right triangle. Name one of the legs I'm talking about. AB could be one of them, or I might use CA, depending on what the problem is asking for and what it gives me. And then S in Hills stands for segment. Segment. Now, everyone, where's my altitude again? AD, do you see how AD breaks up the hypotenuse into two segments? Those are the ones for S. So segment on CD and DB is also a segment. But there's only room for one in hills. Which one do I use? Ready? Whatever leg we're using, you plug in the segment adjacent to it. Okay? Whatever leg you're putting in here for L, you use the segment adjacent. So, ready. If I'm using leg AB in my proportion, what segment am I going to put in? DB. All right, the one adjacent to it. Everyone all right with hills? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Leg. Do I use the same leg or different legs? Same leg? Is this same number here, same leg or different leg? Oh, same. And it's the same because what are these right here? Means are always the same. Keep that in mind, please. When we're setting up these proportions, the means will always, always be the same. Extremes will be different. We all good? Well, unfortunately, sometimes we won't have enough information to set up hills. So we have another device that will match up the sides, and that's called SAS. Okay, SAS. This is why at, when I start, started showing you the five ways to prove triangles congruent, I refuse to allow anybody to call that SAS. This is why. There actually is one there. Okay, there's actually something in math here in geometry that's SAS. What's the S in SAS stand for? Segment. One of the segments. 
Okay, one of the two segments. The A for? Oh boy. Altitude. Where's the altitude on my diagram? What do you think the other A stands for? A different one? There's only one in the diagram. And plus, these are the what? They're the same. And at the other S in SAS, other segment. Those have to be different because they're the extremes. Okay? But I'm going to harp on this big time in the next two days. You can only, you can't use these on any triangles you want. It has to be what type of triangle? With an altitude drawn where? To the hypotenuse. Let's use it now. Everyone see I got a right triangle. Where's the altitude drawn to? The hypotenuse of that right triangle. So I can use hills and sass. Or you can try to be a hero and try to match up the sides on your own because you know all three triangles are similar now. You can try to match them up. Good luck with that. So now here's the question. Is this going to be a hill setup or a sass setup? That's the biggest disagreement argument you're going to have in your mind today. Should I set up hills or sass? Here's the question you ask right, right away. Is the altitude labeled at all? Is it? Is the altitude in my diagram labeled at all? No, which means I don't have enough information to plug into SAS. So this is going to be a hills setup. And all hills is is a quick device that matches up sides. That's all we're doing, guys. I don't want this is not a trick here. All right, we are matching up corresponding sides like we did last uh, unit. H and Hills, here we go, stands for 24. What's H and Hills stand for? Hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse on this diagram? How long is it? 12. Everyone good? It is the hypotenuse of the original right triangle. 3 plus 9. 12. What's the L stand for? 12. What's the L stand for? Leg. Leg of the original right triangle, and only one is labeled. What is it, Maya? Y. Twenty. What's the other L stand for? Same leg, which is Y. Means are the same when we do these. These are all mean proportionals. Means are the same. And what's the S stand for? Three. What's the S stand for? You're better than that. Doesn't stand for side, stands for segment. Now, here's the problem, Charlotte. I got two of them, three and nine. Which one do I plug in? The one that is adjacent to the leg we're using, which would be? Good. Everyone else, all right. Why well, I'm not plugging in nine. You've got to plug in the segment adjacent to the leg we're using. And there you go. Those are 12 matched up with Y, Y matched up with three. You don't have to turn triangles anymore. Y squared equals 36. We talked at the beginning of today doing plus or minus. Why isn't that? Probably not a good idea here. Diagram. So I'm just going to do six. Anything you want to ask? Okay, one more, and then you guys are on your own. I'm done. All right. Less and less teaching this semester here as far as going over these problems. All right. Uh, I do have a right triangle. Everyone sees the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse. Is the altitude labeled at all? Yeah, I got to find it. So that automatic, there's no questions asked. You want me to find the altitude? There's only one proportion I can use that involves the altitude, and that's the SAS. Okay, help me fill it in. Here we go. 12, what's the S stand for? Pick one. Four. Over, what's the A stand for here? 17. Yep, what's it labeled? X. 15, what's the other A? Which is? Same, at, same altitude. There's only one in the diagram and the means have to be equal. 
And what's that other S stand for? 12 segment, same one or different? Different, it's extreme, which would be what here? 12, got it. Not bad, huh? You don't have to match up sides anymore. And, but you know what is sticking around? Simplest radical form. Breaking down 4, 8. And six, what'd you break it down into when you're ready? Yep, it's the square root of 16 and the square root of three. So that's gonna be four radical three that length. Questions? Okay, uh, you're actually gonna have to converse and talk with people now because you're gonna be put into groups to do the next six. Yep, I'm going to reveal them in a second, don't worry. You're going to work on these six right now in your groups, talking with each other. I'm just going to, hey, whoa, I'm going to put the answers up in a second when you get into your groups. Check them. If you can't, if your group for some reason can't come up with the answer I have on there, call me over. Once you guys get all six, you're going on to the homework. Please follow the bottom of the page tonight. Don't look at your assignment sheet. All right, we changed it last minute. You're going to do packet pages three and four tonight. All right, uh, Violet, you get a choice. You want to work with the group behind you or this crew in front of you? Oh, sorry, guys. Here we go. You guys group your desk together, right? You four group your desk together. Talk through them. Group your desk together. Talk through them. Kevin, turn around. Group your desk together. Talk through them. Who? what am I going to do here, huh? You three right here, group your desk together. You guys could just be one big conglomerate group right there, okay? Group your desk together. Group your desk together. Face each other so you can talk to each other, please. I want you talking about these. Is it Hills? Is it Sass? There you go. And those are the answers up here. You can check them as you go along. Figure out, is it Hills or Sass first? <laughs> 